Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane here, and I was in the Cricut Design Space Facebook group. A lot of people were asking about the score tool, and it's kind of hard to use. So I'm going to show you how to maneuver it in all the different ways possible. We're going to insert an image, and actually, let's just insert a square for now. Let's go to My Image Sets, and I'm going to go to Cricut Craft Room Basics. The reason I'm going here is because this is a free cartridge. Everybody has this cartridge, and if I'm going to do something that I want to share, this way no one will have to pay for anything. I can totally share it, and it'll be free. I just wanted to get a square in here. We're just going to use this as an example. Okay, now let's bring in the score tool. So we're going to go to back, and we're going to go to all images, and we're going to type in score. You can type in score line. But when I type in score, it's right here, the second one. So here's the score line. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to grab. It's hard to move. See, now I can't even click on it. So if you click over here on the layers panel, that will click it. But I can't move it. There are different ways to move this, so I'm going to show you how. You can open up the edit panel. Let's change the position of this. You can change the position because I can't seem to move it. It's too hard to move the way it is. So let's grab it again and change the position. That'll go that way and the Y will go up or down. I want to bring it a little higher. Okay, so let's say I want this longer. By hitting this arrow like this, it changes the height and the width. And can make it fatter. It's just sometimes hard to maneuver. Okay, let's grab it again. Okay, what I want to do is put little slots in each corner of the square. Okay, first before we start that, I want to attach these to the square. You cannot attach it if you're putting it on a grouped item. So first thing you always do is ungroup. So we're going to ungroup that going to show the shadow and we're going to kill the shadow by hitting delete down here in the corner. Okay, now let's grab this score line. We're actually going to make this into a cut line. See how it's just hard to maneuver. Okay, that is maybe the size I want, but you can change the height right here. Oh, we gotta highlight it first. Okay, the height is 0 .009 of an inch, so it's almost an inch. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay, now I want to rotate this. So you can rotate it by putting in the degrees here. You can mirror it, which on this it just doesn't really change much or you can click one of these buttons. This one will make it that way, that one will change it to that way, or you can change it like at an angle. See how that works? Now this is at 8.3, so that means this line here is starting at 8.3. So we're going to Move this. We want it too far. Now let's go up a little. That means this line here, the coordinates, is 1.92. And we want it up a little higher. 
and I'm going to change this to 0.5 just to move it over a little. Oh, and this is underneath here, so we're going to arrange this and put it on top so we can see it. Okay, now it is hard to see, but it is here. Let's go ahead and change this to a cut file. So what you do is you click right here and just click the little scissors. And now it's a cut file, so it will cut right there. Okay, let's highlight this again, and we're going to duplicate it three more times so we can put it in each corner. So let's go ahead and move this one. We're going to move it over here. Now we're going to move it down. Whoops, I always go the wrong way. That's too far, and I want it down a little more than that. So I'm just going to guess and change this to 53. See, it just changes it a little. And you just have to get used to learning how to change this. Move it over a little. Let's do 65. Okay, now let's grab another one and move it over. Okay, now this one is going the wrong way. We want to turn it the other way, so we're going to click here. There we go. And I want it up a little. Oops. Actually, I want the same coordinates as this, this one. So I want it to start at 092. So let's click this one. And I want this to be at 0 0.092 so it matches up evenly with the other one. There's no guesswork here. That didn't work. Oh, it put a zero in here. There we go. There. Now it's starting at the exact same point as this is. Okay, so now we got to match it up with this one also. And we want the X coordinates to be the same. You know what? I want the X coordinates to be the same as this, but these starting points are in different spots. So I'm going to rotate this back to here so I can have it the exact same coordinates as this one on the X. So we're going to do this one at X16, 616. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate it. There. So now this line is totally even with this one and this one. So now let's grab this one and this is going to be easy. I want it to be the same Y coordinates as this one. So we're going to change that one to 4, 6, 5. Four point six five. Hit enter. I want the X coordinates to be the same as this one. So that's 2.5. And now we need to rotate it there. So now these all line up evenly. All the lines are lined up evenly, but as you can see, this is not evenly here. I'm just going to move that, move this box. But all of these we know are evenly because all the numbers match up. Now, if I hit go, this is what's going to happen. It's putting it on two things. It's just going to cut the lines and that. It's not what we want. We have to first attach it. To attach it, let's... I like to attach all the lines together first. So I'm clicking one. I'm 
pushing down the shift button on my keyboard and I'm going to hit attach. Okay, now I'm hitting the shift button on my keyboard and going to grab the square and I'm also going to hit attach. Now it changes the color to the same color as the cut line and you can always go change it to a different color if you like. You don't have to keep it that color. And now when I move it all, it goes like that. And now it will cut it just how that is. Okay, now let's show you the other way to do this if you don't want to mess with these numbers. I'm going to insert it. Oh, it wasn't. I was already checked. Okay, here's another way you can do it. You can just make it fat. And then you can make it longer. You can see all the little things. Okay, you can move this around. Drag it anywhere. You can rotate it this way. I find to get it perfect, I like to just click these little buttons around here. Now, when you get it where you want it to be, then you can just, you can drag it and just make it skinny again. which it might take a little bit of time to get it there. And this is actually a little wider than it's supposed to be because this is supposed to be it. I think it's 0.1. But see, because I did that, I put it at 0.1 and this was locked, it made it longer. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to unlock the lock there there it's at point zero two that's good enough but it's just harder to maneuver this way this way may take more time but it's more exact okay if you have any more questions on the score tool uh, let me know in the comments below Thanks guys for watching and love you all. See you in the next video. Bye!